disclaimer on this video here is uh, how to cast it good far right don't forget it's practice 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 yeah I gotta run it so you know yeah I gotta run it so here mom you know I and it's so small so I can't really do that much so don't forget it's always practice I ain't got a no, no real lump here cast this arm pull in the butt pull down push up pull down push up right let go come back cast out pull down push up there's a lot of practice and a lot of technique too as well when when to can you when to let go and where to let go so you know how it is we gonna um, i can i can do a little series here so far say so no friend how the cast this claim i can toss spicy fish just let you know you can toss spicy fish He's tall spicy fish right now cause so I actually come down from my leg I, I, I normally toss an 8 ounce pretty far so now I toss in I came back down to like a 5 ounce so I know how it is Bajan fish peckers Uh, I got a uh, one of my subscribers asking me how I just cast my 12 foot rod. Seeing I cast pretty far. Don't worry about me. But it's bad to take my tips because you can be talking fast the fish now. I just let them know how this are. That's a little disclaimer. So I got a 5 ounce leg. I take this piece of cloth off and it's so hopefully that you'll be able to see how the leg moving and stuff like that. Um, 5 ounce leg. I got 50 pound grain. They're asking and I got some 50 pound leader here so the sand color that I like that I like back all right so we got many ways of, of doing it uh, the first time people you select the people you select the put down the lead and turn a cast right that is not utilizing rod it's best to utilize the rod because that's what the rod for a 15 foot rod to help you cast further right so i can show one of what people does normally do which is just put down the leg And there's other people like to use another trick which is which is let me walk back just to get some better audio which is you see his last eye see if you get the lead roughly around where the last eye is Lead on the ground. And then, and then we push the ground out. So when you feel a little tension, and then just turn. utilizing the rod just a little bit a little bit but let me step back off and show you that one again make sure you lay like this roughly around there wait now
lost, I lost, I lost the cloth, I lost the cloth that I tie on. And um, I forget though, the, um, I, I should have start off with, is the motor push down, pull up. Push down, pull up. Right, more people are just, but don't forget you got to push down too as well let's get a little bit more speed when you more people just push up but they don't pull down so you got to push up and pull down at the same time that will give you a little bit more speed in flicking the rod but uh, this is my technique I saw it on YouTube and I learned it and I think I kind of perfect it uh, which is you swing the rod a little away from you and when it on the way coming back to you, so you swing the net away from you. And when it coming back to you, you then turn and cast. That's actually loading up the rod. So when you, you will actually see a little bit more bend. So I can do my little style here so that I can get my distance. I just. on the way coming back towards you then we turn and cast and I want you to see how the how the rod can bang I can I can um, I can do the flat one and cast which is pretty left the ground I think I do a full cast properly and you'll see how the rod bang I think then I can do one then I can do one like how I just cast. So the first one gonna be the flat one and cast. The second one gonna be the whole ice cast swing back and you'll see how the rod bang. So so watch how the rod can bang. So you watch how the rod just bang just now. Watch how the rod just bang just now. And you, you just get a little, little bang, a little momentum. So I can cast now my way, swing back, swing back, and watch how the rod bang. This will give me a little bit more distance. Got a lot more distance. Rod bend a little bit more and they get a little bit more distance. Ah, I cast it too good. So there's just a five ounce lead there, so still a five ounce lead and change it. Right, normally, normally I just cast an 8 ounce. I want to cast an 8 ounce more than that. Too far up this up, my freaking one. So, when I cast, turn and, and show the, um, the flash. But don't zoom in. I can always zoom that in. So, Alright 
I stole my 8 ounce, sorry 5 ounce, no, my, I normally cast the 8 ounce, so I cast the 8 ounce, but, um, so don't forget quick tips, quick tips fast, which is push down, pull up, next step is also know about the leg out as well, and when you can't say, always feel the weight. Like the feel that weight. And yeah. Right, so. I can do flat one first. And hopefully if my leg don't stick up, I can cast back my weight. So just one more gap to the shoulder. Now. Swing, come back, turn, and see bend. It bend it bends by helping you send it out. Again, turn, again, turn, again, turn, again, turn. So I can leave it there. Um, my video editing now is not that uh, goody goody, so I can try to see if I can put some slow motion on it and see what I can do for one. See if I can slow it down, but if it's visible with the turn the cast with the rod bending, I'm showing you how flip be good. So don't hear so hurting me and your ears are hurting me now. So I can ease off. Alright, anyhow, until next time, Bajan Fish Bringers, we out.